Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we are comparing the graphs of y equals 2 sine x to y equals sine x, and y equals 1 plus the square root of x to y equals the square root of x. So I have these functions graphed right here, so let's first start with a. How is the graph of y equals 2 sine x related to the graph of y equals sine x? Well, with a 2 out front being multiplied by the function, that is a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. And so we're going to use our answer and figure 6, which is just this graph I've done here, to sketch this graph. So every point has to be stretched by a factor of 2. I think the easiest way to do this is to remember that multiplying 2, sorry, multiplying 0 by 2 is just a 0. So these points here, which are all zeros of the original function are going to stay at zero for the new function. And the peaks, right, here at one, here at negative one, here at one, here at negative one, are going to be at two and negative two. And then everything else can sort of fit in between it, right? So here, instead of one, we have to go up to here, to two. Then we go back down to zero, so it looks something like this. It's not exactly perfect, but then we go down to negative two, and it looks like that. And we have a similar thing here, where the stretch isn't perfect, but you can just see the difference that stretching by two roughly does to the function. And here we have one plus the square root of x. So adding one to your function means we are vertically shifting. It's positive, so it's up one. So we have some points on y equals the square root of x that will be helpful for this. So we have 0, 0, 1, 1, and 4, 2. Okay, so 0, 0 is moved up to 0, 1. 1, 1 is up to moved up to 1, 2, and 4, 2 is moved up to 4, 3. We can see that this graph is sort of parallel to the next, to the original, if you know, curves could be parallel. It's just shifted up one unit. So these are how, the, how you find the graphs of y equals 2 sine of x and y equals 1 plus the square root of x from the original graphs.